right ladies and gentlemen many times i get mails where people tell me that they've done different remedies and sometimes some of them have worked and some of them have not worked and sometimes many remedies have backfired which means it has given the opposite of the desired result and sometimes some remedies are so difficult to do you know there are many people who cannot fast who cannot go to certain places because their age does not permit or they have some other reasons they have they have other responsibilities or there can be so many reasons why people cannot do certain remedies which is told and sometimes some remedies require some level of purification which somebody uh, cannot live up to that standard all right so or somebody uh, may not have the finances to do some pujas or some mantras or not mantras sorry some gemstones or something like that so there's a lot of confusion and there's a lot of there's a lot of fear mongering which goes on in the name of remedies and there's a lot of uh, doubts there's a lot of confusion and there is in a sense hopelessness about remedies which means that many times people think that oh i wish i could do that remedy or many times people think that oh i wish i would have not done that remedy or i wish i could have done it in a better way or i wish i would have got the right remedies to do yes so yesterday i had made a video on the secret of jupiter's transit so in that i had said something about the 12 cantos of the shrimad bhagavatam and i said that the biggest remedy is that you study all the cantos of the shrimad bhagavatam why because all the 12 cantos they are like lord vishnu's body all right so starting from the head to the feet and if you correlate with astrology there are certain chapters in the these cantos which reflect these houses all right so there are 12 houses in astrology we know 12 zodiac signs and these zodiac signs can be seen reflecting in these cantos all right so if you cannot do certain remedies if you cannot do the remedies to that extent which it is expected from you that is fine or if you don't want to do that is also fine but this is one remedy which anybody can do it doesn't matter where you are who you are what is your age if you can just see and if you could can just listen then these two things are sufficient to do this remedy all right you don't have to go to the himalayas you don't have to go to, you don't even have to go to kanchipuram recently i said that go to kanchipuram now there's a f- famous festival going on till 15th of august but many people mail me that we can't go <laughs> so you don't have to go to kanchipuram also if your situation is so bad and if you are becoming more and more hopeless about certain things in your life and you are fed up of running to astrologers again and again and again and you do not see any results manifesting well then this is a remedy which you can do all right so now what i will do is i will tell you which chapters to read from these cantos because there are 12 cantos and there are 18000 verses so it's a big exercise but nothing substantial comes cheap all right we always have to put efforts all right anything that comes very easily is not valuable in general so what we can do is we need to check in our lives rather than checking our horoscopes so imagine and pretend to yourself that you live in a imaginary world where there is nothing called as astrology or like you don't know anything about astrology you don't know parashar muni you don't know any 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 brihat parashar hola shastra you have never heard any astrology lecture in youtube you have never attended any class all right just forget astrology for some time just ask yourself take a pen and a paper do it now just write down the areas where you think you need to improve or where you are getting beatings always beatings which means you do your best but you do not get reciprocation from that side and sometimes you get negativity from the other side all right 
just see those areas it can be anything health career finances relationship or discipline or it can be you know uh, expecting things like being happy basically yes that could be also a challenge which is for many people yes or children they are a big challenge sometimes the spouse yes the father the mother so identify those areas all right and when i say forget astrology why do i say this because many times the most sim the most simple way to understand our own horoscope rather than going too much into astrology is no oh, this is exalted this is debilitated this is here this is there if you are confused about anything in astrology regarding your own chart it's very simple just see how that planet is behaving in your life because your life is a live reflection your life is a live reflection of the horoscope it's like you watch cricket match yes live so your horoscope the live horoscope is your life <laughs> so whatever is going on live in your life is ultimately what your horoscope is so if you have doubts on how is your seventh house you have malefics there you have benefics or planets are exalted debilitated just see what is the situation of your seventh house in your life in live <laughs> yes how is your relationship with your spouse or with other people in general fifth house children so we all know the houses which they the karakas yes what the houses represent so what we can do is we can make a list of all the issues okay and then we need to try to correlate it with the houses all right don't do this from your horoscope which means don't see oh my fourth lord is debilitated so i need to go to the fourth candle don't do that first check your own life all right then you go to these houses so i have made a short list after a lo lot of deliberation because my email box was flooded and my facebook was also flooded by so many requests that please tell us what what things should we read from uh, the 12th cantos all right pertaining to these houses so here it is after your requests i have uh, made this notes and my eyes are there and i will be speaking about it all right okay so anybody having problems with the first house first house is what the lagna body self determination your ability to stay hold ground even when things go wrong all right if you are in depression or you have low self esteem if you lack focus in life if you lack uh, passion in life then the lagna or the lagna lord or the planets in lagna is not in a good shape even though in your chart again if the lagna is exalted then also there are some other reasons why this is happening all right so as i said forget your astrology placements just check these things so if the first house is having some issues in your chart so then what you should do is you should read the first canto all right and in the first canto specifically you should read the prayers of bhishma dev and yes i forgot to say that uh the links to uh this the shrimad bhagavatam all the 12 cantos i will paste it down in the description okay so if you want you can go and check it it's available in amazon okay so first canto you have the prayers of bhishma dev so that you must read because bhishma dev is literally the example of determination and because he took the bhishma pratigya right there is nobody greater who has taken any vow than bhishma dev so bhishma dev's departure that is there yes that is something you must read from the first canto all right if you feel your lagna is not in a good shape now then if you feel your second house family sustain and second house is sustenance anything that sustains you your family sustains you your mother your father your elder brother your husband your wife anybody that sustains you sustains you does not mean puts money in your bank account that is one way but sustenance also means one who uh, adds value to your life all right so for the second canto you should read specifically about the creation about the avataras and the process of creation is vividly explained in the second canto all right not 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 too much it's not fully explained then the third canto also comes but 
you should read about the process of creation all right and the different avatars that description is there so please read it because the avatars as lord krishna says in the gita na yada yada hi dharmasya glaner bhavati bharata abhyuthanam dharmasya tadatmanam srijam meham that time and again i come to annihilate the demons and to protect the great souls and restore dharma in this world so lord vishnu is the one who sustains yes so that's one of the meaning uh, of the word narayana he is like the iron of all the naras yes iron is that which sustains you it's like fuel all right so you must read about the avatars all right and creation also where lord brahma is instructed by lord vishnu yes and you can also read the first canto the beginning verses where you will find you know tene brahma hridayadi kavaye muhyanti yat suraya all right now the third house so if you have problems in communication putting forward your idea or if you get into arguments battles in facebook whatsapp twitter or who said what he said this i said this how dare he say like this how dare i uh, he not listen to me how dare she say like that all right if you always find yourself arguing with people ruining your life and relationships then there's an issue in the third house all right so for you you must read vidura and maitreya's talks because third house is the house of guru upadesh all right this means advice okay so vidura asks questions to maitreya muni about the shrimad bhagavatam i mean not about i mean that's what the shrimad bhagavatam is questions of vidura answered by maitreya muni okay so that you must read and in that you will see the beautiful dialogue between these two great souls okay and you will also see there is a very important thing here uddhav was asked these questions by vidura or vidura was planning to ask these questions and he asked also but uddhav didn't reply uddhav is one of lord krishna's best friends now he is a very exalted soul he is a paramahamsa he he is a uttam bhagavat and he is also a parshad which means he is a very close associate of krishna it's a very high thing to be parshad of god i mean parshad is of god only but <laughs> but why he doesn't reply even though he is much much beyond elevated than maitreya muni why doesn't he reply because he did not want to transgress the et- he did not want to break the etiquette of transgressing a higher authority so maitreya muni he is uh, from a society's perspective he is more senior which means he is he is more aged you know he is a sanyasi no i don't know if maitreya is a sanyasi but he is a brahmana all right and uddhav is a kshatriya so uddhav did not want to transgress that etiquette so even though uddhav was more qualified he still said to vidura no go and ask to maitreya muni he is more qualified than me all right so there you see some important lessons there <laughs> now fourth canto dhruva maharaj dhruva maharaj yes dhruva maharaj famous story so if you have problems with mother home property then or inner peace yes fourth house as i said in one video it is the house of how we absorb things in life all right that's the fourth house then you must read the section of dhruva maharaj because his step mother told him get out or get down from the throne of your father's lap you do not you do not deserve to sit in your father's lap because you are not born from my womb you are born from the womb of suniti she is an inferior woman i am superior to her so unless you are born from my womb you cannot sit in the throne of your father and then dhruva maharaj is dejected he is angry he is fired up he says no i will not stay in this kingdom so dhruva goes out of his house and he goes in search of lord vishnu and finally after 6 months lord vishnu appears and then what happens dhruva gets a kingdom greater than his great grandfather and who is his great grandfather please write it in the comments if you know <laughs> all right then fifth house fifth house is the house of children primarily all right 
and there rishabdev one of the avatars of lord vishnu he speaks this to the most esteemed of his sons he had hundred sons bharat maharaj is the most esteemed and the most elevated of all of his sons he speaks this famous verse tapo divyam putra kayena satvam all right so that chapter you must 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 read because then you will know how to behave with your child all right behave having a child doesn't mean that you only pamper the child with uh gifts or toys or you know give him an education in a very good college all this is fine but tapo divyam putra kayena satvam you must teach the child how to do tapasya and elevate his or her spiritual consciousness yes putra kayena satvam to come to satva guna that is the prime duty of a parent all right mother or father so rishabdev is one of the avatars and he is speaking this to bharat maharaj and bharat maharaj is the one after who, whom india is named okay i mean there are many bharats but he is one of the ones then sixth canto sixth house yes sixth house is the house of punishment if you feel that you get punished more than you what you deserve all right if you feel that you have done this much wrong but you get punished this much well then there could be some issue with the sixth house okay so you must read the story of ajamila ajamila he was a great brahmana once upon a time he was very pure he was very exalted he was very spiritual but one day he saw when he was going around in the forest he saw a prostitute and a man enjoying okay and then that sight went and after that what did what did he do he hired this prostitute in his home and he started indulging in a uh, physical relation with her and he he then told his wife and his parents to get out of the house all right because he was totally obsessed with this prostitute and then later on he he has a very degraded lifestyle and then later on he begs borrows and you know he kills people he does all wrong things just to please this prostitute and then later on at the end of his life he is about to die and then something amazing happens all right and then yamaraj tells to yamaduta so yamaduta has come to capture him but ajamil's youngest son his name was narayan so what happened when the yamadutas came to capture him then out of attachment he chants the name narayan 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 he shouts like this he is not calling of lord vishnu he is calling his son actually yes out of his at- attachment but because narayan is actually a reference to lord vishnu so all of his sins were totally nullified and the vishnu dutas from the spiritual world came and told the amadutas that now you cannot take this person to hell because he has chanted the name of lord narayan and one who chants the name of narayan once he is delivered from all sins <laughs> well of course that has to be done with sincerity because it doesn't mean that anybody and everybody just chants narayan that can also happen if lord vishnu wants of course all right so that's very important and then seventh canto seventh canto seventh house represents the enemies so if you feel that if you have too many enemies in life all right if you are always facing obstruction because it is the house which directly is opposite of the lagna so it's like saying somebody is opposing you all the time okay so then you must read the story of pralad maharaj and hiranyakashyapu okay and lord narsingh dev of course how lord narsingh dev came and ripped apart the intestines of hiranyakashyapu and there's a chapter on leaving the body all right that is also something which you must read then eighth canto samudra manthan leela is mentioned churning of the milk ocean halahal poison came out and finally the story of bali maharaj yes vaman dev that is something which you must read so if somebody is having problems with the eighth house addictions if you are having uh you if, if you are obsessed with uh internet pornography or nudity adult material yes talking about sexuality if you are obsessed with staring at the private parts of the opposite sex then 
this canto is for you all right then ninth house if you have problems with your father gurus and divinity then you must read the ninth canto that is all about lord ram all right there you go ninth canto lord ram or you can also read the ramayana then 10th canto 10th house focus in life 10th house one word focus it's not career name fame it's focus what do you want to do in life all right then krishna krishna is there in the 10th canto and 10th canto is the longest and that is why 10th house is the strongest kendra of all the four all right so 10th canto is the one you must read then 11th canto if you feel that your resources are much less than your desires which means you have too many desires unfulfilled desires then there is a chapter on detachment which you should read okay on in the 11th canto then you must read that and 12th canto is about kaliyuga that's about exit okay so 12th house if you have issues with losses or you waste too many things okay 12th house is the house of wastage so any person who has problems who wastes time who wastes resources if you waste food if you waste time gossiping yes if you are wasting water when you are taking bath anything you are wasting then there's a problem with the 12th house so please go and read the 12th canto on kali yuga the things are mentioned okay and the exit of parikshit maharaj by takshak and when he finally attains this spiritual abode all right so these are the things which you could read and for 10th canto i specifically did not mention any chapter because the entire canto is important all right all right there you go if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and you could forward this video to somebody who wants to do remedies and yes if you want a consultation from me regarding any of the houses or any area then you could always go down to the description section to book a reading with me and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay thank you bye bye see you